92 Green Z34 here. Uh, we got George with us, and uh, we're going to be drinking a couple 40s. Uh, I got a new beer, and I got an old beer. This is uh, Coors Light. This is what George will be drinking. I've already had this before. We'll just ask him if it tastes like Coors. Um, I, uh, I'll take his word on it. It's a pretty good beer. I don't think that there will be any issues with this. Now, this one, however, will be a little more risky. It's uh, Mickey's Ice in the 40. Uh, it's a 5.8%. Malt liquor. It's a nice brewed ale. It's going to be uh, something that we're going to hopefully enjoy, but it could be terrible. I've had some beers that are absolutely excellent, and then uh, I had the iced version, and the vault makes me want to puke. So hopefully this will be okay. I um, guess the uh, labels just got kind of a zigzaggedy, I don't know, goofy ice shape. It says 5.8% on it. Got a government warning. Recycling warnings, Mickey's Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, blah, blah, blah. One quart, eight fluid ounces. Consumer something, call this number. Union made. The cap has a little Mickey's Ice thing on it. We'll quick review of the bottle of George's. It's a, just a big Coors Light thing. Looks just like the can. He's got it super cold because we had it in the freezer. His mountains are blue. It means it's time to get a drink. It's the Silver Bullet. Same warnings. Um... Our unique frost brewing process delivers that crisp, refreshing taste you can't find anywhere else. Do something cool. Recycle. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Went, went, went totally uncool there. Um, but uh, yeah, it tells you the carbs and stuff on this. It tells you the calories. That's pretty crazy. I usually don't see the uh, health. It's uh, 102 calories uh, per 12 ounces. Um, that's pretty interesting because you don't see that very often. Uh, his cap just has little mountains on it. Um, but we'll go ahead and let him drink that one. It's a nice dark brown bottle. This is a green. Um, I'm going to open mine up. It's a little bit of a hiss. Not a super big pop. It's really, really corn. Strong corn smell on this one. But kind of a Mickey's smell. Um, exclusive. It's already got kind of a foam on the top there, just inside the bottle. Are you not going to open yours up? Yeah. It smells a little stinky, but we'll, we'll give her a shot. There's a slight hiss. I'm excited. I'm this excited. is going to be good. I'm going to guess that smells like Coors. <laughs> yeah. Smells like Coors? Yeah. Cheers. Cold. Whew. Cold. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. That's like, um, yeah. You know what? This is by far, I'm going to already say this right now. This is the by far the sweetest um, malt liquor I've ever had that still tastes good. I mean... I had Axe Head before, and that was... <laughs> I didn't like that much. But this here, this tastes pretty good. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. You know, I'm going to tell George to give her a shot. Go ahead, give her a shot, George. It's really sweet. It's cold, though. That's a good thing. Got that green bottle aftertaste, though. It, it does. <laughs> it does. But but if you like Mickey's, it's not an issue. Um, sure down. He's a big Coors fan. But let me give you a shot. I'll give his a shot. You're going to like it. You're not even going to be able to drink that other one anymore. Of course. Very smooth. Yeah. Really refreshing. Just like it says in the bottle. Not very many things are what they say in the bottle. You know, Milwaukee's Best says it's the best in Milwaukee. Mmm debatable. It's pretty good for the price. But this here, it says it's refreshing and it's damn straight it is. It's very refreshing. It goes down better than water. This makes me feel like a poor person. I mean, nothing quite says I'm poor like Mickey's Ice. Don't do it. Whew, cold. Yeah. 
definitely cold. I think uh, I think uh, rugby might like this video because there's 40s and burping. Yeah, and yeah, it's good stuff. He likes that stuff. Ooh. And I mean, you're gonna burp. You drink this, you're gonna burp. And he likes 40, so this is how he does, you know. It's good. You know, in some ways, I prefer it over regular Mickey's. I mean, I really like the grenades. I'm partial to the taste of those. Um,. And one complaint, Mickey's. All right, look at this huge bottle. You guys have this teeny little cap in here. You guys know how to make a big cap. Uh, if you had a big cap, I could down this Mickey's like nothing. But you can't ever get no air in there, and you have to just kind of force on it, and in your mouth it gets numb from the coldness. Because if you're, you're you know, gonna be a guy like me, you gotta have it really cold. So, you know, uh, what the hell, Mickey's? Um, but yeah. I mean, as far as a 40 of regular Mickey's versus this 40 of Mickey's Ice, I prefer the 40 of Mickey's Ice. Now, that's not saying I would prefer this over a grenade of regular Mickey's. But if they made a grenade of ice, I might try it. You know, this is probably one of the best 0.7 grams of protein I've had all day. Yeah. For 12 ounces. It's nutritious. This is new, very nutritional here. I mean, why wouldn't you? I would. Uh, you know, that's one other thing. I, I, always, I don't really mention this before in any videos, but 4Ds, they're well made. Yeah. When you throw them out of your car, they don't break very good. And when they do, someone is getting a flat tire or a cut hand. I mean, it's just the truth. But you don't worry about that as long as it ain't you. I promise. Ooh. It is very sweet. Uh, but it's alright. It's not bad. Like, like Axe Head. That was sweet. And bad. <laughs> now, no, that said, Axe Head would really mess you up. Uh, if you wanted to get drunk, honestly, an axe head. Okay, if you uh, drink one axe head, it's more. Well, no, it's it's about the same as drinking two of these. And this is the ice Mickey's. I mean, you hit. Well, I drink about this much of the axe head. Then I got grossed out, but I gotta tell you, it was more than what probably what drinking this whole damn thing was. It it really you could feel the effects of that damn thing. And it's not like it was terrible in the aspect of if I couldn't get drunk off anything and I wanted to get drunk, could I do it? Yeah, but why don't you just drink two of these or something? Or better yet, drink three of these. Fuck it. These are good. Yeah, very good. George, what'd that cost you? Uh, I think it was like two fifty. And what'd this cost? I think that was like $2 or $1.60 or something. It was pretty cheap. So your quality goes accordingly, but yeah. this, this is... I would say these are almost better. Of course, it's not a malt liquor. Uh, for, you know, people who like malt liquor, they like malt liquor. If you're looking for a bang for your buck, Lost Lake is $1.40 for a 24 ounce can. It's good. I drink it. Damn, I'm almost time. I'm out of time with my video, guys. I almost got this thing gone for you. Fortunately, I'm only allowed about another 30 seconds. Uh, I'm just gonna save her mine. It just ain't gonna it's happen. Good. It's not that I wouldn't like to. It's just that I'd rather have another minute or so to do it. And I don't have that. I talk too much. That's my fault. But, uh, you guys, you've been a great audience. You'll have to just assume that I'll finish this uh, excellent brew. And uh, it is 11 and a half inches tall. And you guys have a good day.